Improvisation course on Patreon. I'm going to do a um uh, 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 technique class on Patreon as well. So you can look out for that. You know, make sure you go to all you know all the streaming services and you can search for Reggie Payne Bass or all bass creations, or you can search for the Bass Snakers N E G U S. Go to um, Bandcamp and find my stuff on there. But you know, make sure you you find me everywhere. Let's keep rocking. Um, also hit that super thanks in the, in the, the cash app too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's always important. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. I always appreciate it. Even a dollar, two dollars. I appreciate it. So moving on here. Here's the cabinet, um, by itself. And that's a really, that's a nice sounding cabinet, you know? That is a nice sounding cabinet. You just gotta, um. It's a nice sounding cab model. And that was done on media. That's so nice. Um, and of course you got the compressor and noise gate here as well. You can, um, I don't particularly use a noise gate unless I'm using distortion or overdrive or something of that nature. Or an octave pedal, a low octave, um, octave, no, just an octave down, you know, synth mono phonic pedals that, that need a little help. <laughs> But the compressor, you 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 know, they don't give you a whole lot of options with this stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to work the physical pedal too, because there's a that's a whole learning curve within itself. If you don't, you know, I would suggest just using the software for a lot of stuff. But you, in some stuff, you got to use the software for regardless. Like you need to um, like to get all the tone net stuff and do all that. You know, you're going to have to get the app for the iPhone or iPad, which is amazing. So you can just take your iPhone or iPad and control this little pedal and have a, uh, hundreds of amps, thousands of amps at your disposal right there on the gig, which is crazy. Never before has that been available in something this small, which is ridiculous because it's the size of your thumb. It's the length of your thumb, and it's like so little. But, um, and just for a comparison... This is a bike light. This is a bike light. The bike light is bigger than the pedal. Like a bicycle bike. Like, <laughs> sheesh. It's amazing. Technology. IK Media knocked this one out the park. They just need to fix those little kinks in the firmware and the software where you don't have to go into stomp mode and bypass the pedal just to audition stuff. It should already be available depending on where you're clicking. You know what I'm saying? So they just came out this a few weeks ago. So all this stuff can be fixed. This is firmware 1.00, you know what I'm saying? So they can fix all this stuff. I'm not worried. This is still an amazing pedal. Still one of the best. This is one of the best things you could buy in... I haven't seen a pedal this amazing in a long time. This is an amazing little pedal for what it does, for its size, for the cost. Like, people wouldn't even have been complaining like that if this had cost an extra $100 from where it is. But they wanted to keep it away from the price point of the bigger one. You know what I'm saying? So they made it even more accessible when other companies would have been trying to make you spend more money. 
Thank you, IK Media. I know y'all ain't get everything perfect with the joint the first time around. Y'all need people like me. You should send it to me next time and let me help you. And at the same time, we can help each other. I'll work with y'all. I'll rock with y'all. Shoot, y'all might as well just go and hire me on staff. Go ahead and put me on staff for a little while. Y'all don't, nobody can hire me. You could contract me to do some stuff. <laughs> but I digress. I think that's the right word. One of them words. Um, so, you know, we were starting to talk about the physical um, pedal itself. And as you can see, um, like I said, this, we already explained the four knobs and the toggle switch. So there's there's certain modes you got to get familiar with. We already started talking about them. You got dual mode and stomp mode. And before we even get to those, let's talk about... Um, so say you got... Um, the first thing you do when you press this alt button is these are now representing these alternate stuff here. That's on the bottom. So... It's going to re respond to the threshold of the gate, the threshold of the compressor, and the amount of reverb that is applied to the sound. All right, so when it's flashing like that, slowly and continuously, that means you're you're um you know you're in alternate mode right there. So so bam. But if you hold it down for three seconds, right? You hold it down for three seconds. You gonna you can put it in safe mode. So, what is safe mode? So, say you already got your sound you want on, and you don't want it to change or anything. You don't want to accidentally say you want to put this underneath your pedal board, or you want to put it um you know somewhere where you can't necessarily get to it on your pedal board, but you want it to always be on, and you don't want to accidentally bump it or none of that. So you put you hold this down all to, all for three seconds. One, two, three. Blink put you in safe mode. Right now, every time you try to change something, it's just going to blink. You're not going to be changing nothing. All right? The only thing you can do is turn it on and off. You can't change nothing. See that? But then if you hold it down for one, two, three more seconds, you'll check it out. Yep. See, now you're affecting it. Bam. So, let me make sure y'all can see this good, yep. Yeah. All right, so that's that setting. I mean, uh, mode, you know, pretty much that's the safe mode. Then you got the setup mode, which is where you'll control some other things. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and it'll turn blue. Right, alternate alternate button turn to blue. Blue is setup mode, right? And I just I just got this pedal yesterday, so I had to memorize all this since yesterday, and it's doable. It's not even that big of a deal. Like one, you gonna do most things in the software, but stuff I'm doing on the pedal is easy to do. So um, that puts you in uh, where this bass knob is now um, switches you between the modes. Let me see put it up on the software so now when I change the bass um, knob to the right it changes to stomp mode which is where this toggle switch go um, turns the that particular preset on and off because it allows you to hold up to three um, immediate uh, um, three captures for immediately recall um, right so one of them's in stomp mode and the other two are in dual mode where you can flip back and forth between them with the toggle switch. So this is stomp box mode, the orange one. And you turn it this way, it'll turn green. Now it's the dual mode. And as you see, when you click in that toggle, it goes back and forth now. All right, cool. So now that we don't want to be there no more, we're going to hold this for six seconds, get back in the setup mode, right? Turn blue again. So now you have the option to um, turn the amp cabs off globally. So meaning turn off all the ca cab models, the meaning the speaker models, turn them all off. So when you turn to each preset, it's just the preamps and it's everything else but the cab models. Um, so you can use the preamp sounds as um, to, you know, as the preamp for different heads and cabinets 
So, for instance, say I wanted to use this um, SGT B15 um, or this, say I wanted to use this Noble 2 preamp as a um, head for, as the preamp for a bass amp, right? So I, I take that, I cue that up, and then I run this Tonex into the power amp in or the return of a bass amp. So some bass amps have effects loops where it's send and return. If it's a send and return, you plug it into the return. If it's if it's power amp in, power um, preamp out, you plug it into the power amp in, and pretty much it goes directly into the power amp. So where the power of the amp is. So if it's 600 watts, goes into the 600 watts power, then goes into the base cabinet that you're running that amp to. If it's a combo, it's the one that's built in. If it's a head and cabinet, it's going to bypass the preamp on the, the head.